Hey, what's up party people? I just finished me a good uh, workout and uh, I was gonna go live on Facebook, not Facebook, live on YouTube, but I had to set it up and I gotta wait 24 hours before I can go live. So I'm just gonna make a really quick, I don't know, quick video, quick meeting, five or 10 minutes, give or take. But um, I said I'm gonna start putting my thoughts down uh, on YouTube, listen to this guy. Um, he is, they call him the lead attorney. Shout out to the lead attorney. And he was saying everyone should start a Facebook or a YouTube channel, especially guys, you know, who older, like in their 50s. I'm not quite 50, I'll be 50 in October, but um, I figure I'll go ahead and just get started. And um, I'm doing this because I just, just I think it's, it's important to um, kind of make, have a log of, of, of our experiences and, and our ideas and and things that, that uh, may impact someone else. If, if, if I touch one person or influence one person to, to, to do better, then I've, I've done my job. So I'll, I'll start doing these every so often. Uh, I haven't set up how I want to do it, if I want to do it at the same time every week, if I want to go live at the same time every week, uh, which I may do, but I'm pretty sure I'll get more, um, I guess, not so much followers, but just probably more followers and more um, people uh, responding to the, to the, to the videos. Um, haven't picked out a title or a subject matter yet. Uh, it'd be around fitness and life, you know. Uh, a lot of things I've learned uh, just, just from working out, um, from lifting weights, um, just fitness in general. It's just their, their life lessons that transcend and through time and, and they connect the dots. And then as I listen to other um, people who talk uh, online and just watch their YouTube videos, I learned so much from them. Uh, the, the big thing that, that really um, I'm excited about is seeing a lot more uh, men, uh, men and, and you know, in general, black men in particular, um, having their thoughts, you know, uh, put to 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 to, uh, to video, and sitting there watching them have conversations um, about life and what's happening and. And today's current, you know, state of affairs, and how we as, as men can can uh, come together and and, and do better. Uh, I actually, the other day, had this guy that I, I met online. Um, uh, it's Johnny 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 Malone. This guy, I, I just I, I met him online, and he lives in California, and we had a conversation on the phone. And what I find is I have like four or five people, men that I can, well, men that I call and talk to on the phone and have conversations with. And I might even try to get a couple of those, you know, on my, on my videos and just, you know, uh, chit chat with them and kind of break things down um, and put it out there. Cause I see that um, a lot of these, these, these men are out here, you know, doing videos and they are having conversations and they may disagree, but they're still able to you know, be friendly and, and cordial on the back end. That was something that I struggle with and I still struggle with um, because I grew up in a very emotional environment. Um, and I, it was, that's, that's just, I just, I just, I'm, I carried my heart on my sleeve and I was a very emotional person. And if I didn't like something, I would just cut, cut it off. And if I disagreed with somebody, I cut them off. And I did that a lot when I first started, you know, uh, working on social media and doing YouTube and stuff. I would just cut folks off when I didn't agree with them. Um, and what I've come to find out is I miss out on a lot of lessons doing that. Here in the social media space and <coughs> learning to talk to people, <coughs> excuse me, I'm able to articulate and put my thoughts down in, in front of them and take the emotion out of it. And that's really hard really hard for me to do it's, it's hard for me to do now but I, I get better at it and the emotional response from from people who haven't really thought about what they're going to say and, and they just blast out at you you look at me like that's kind of how I used to be and that's how I was and you know I don't want to be like that anymore I want to be able to have you know logical conversations with people um, and be passionate about it. I mean I think to be passionate about something and, and really enjoy doing it and have a, you know uh, your your stance on it is one thing, but I think you still have to be open up to different perspectives. Because a lot of times what I find is we have different 
ways of getting someplace, but in the day we, we all went to the same place. And we get we get lost in the specifics and go back and forth. But um I think that becomes detrimental within itself as well. Uh so I'm at my time of five minutes. I see where I'm at, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and cut it off. Um and I'm like I said, I may just start writing stuff down. I'll definitely do my still do my workout videos in between these. Um and like I said, some some guys, you know, some media, uh, some uh, content creators, the professionals, the ones who are really good, have like two or three channels. I'm just gonna have one channel, um, and you can scroll through the videos. If you want to see my workout videos, it's fine. If you want to want to learn more about my workout videos and, and about how my workouts go, I can you know work talk on that too. Um, and if I don't get any input, I'm just gonna put down what I put down. and I get what I get. Like my uh, my children told me at school, the children say. Our teachers say you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. So you get what you get with me. Uh, if you have input, put it in the comment box. Um, and uh, just, just chop it up, all right? Uh, looking forward to uh, speaking to y'all and, and, and just uh, learning as we grow together, all right? Love y'all. I'm out. Peace.